Hey gang. No, this is not Boonville's answer to Stonehenge. This is actually um, the old depot. And, um, well, I thought, why not? Um, you know, I'm heading back from uh, Reno's grandma's. We went over there to see if his aunt had some cigarettes for him. And uh, I thought, why not do a quick little video and a little backstory on the old depot here? Uh, legend has it. <laughs> That, uh, that uh, of course, is just be an old railroad depot and uh, train we used to come uh, right through this area right here, about around this spot, I believe. And, and there are still some old train tracks up that way that uh, didn't quite get completely covered over with gravel. You can still see a little bit of them. In fact, they stretch uh, on past quite a bit. In fact, they, I think they stretch over towards the uh, next road over beyond that one. Uh, when I first got here to the to Boonville, my family and I, I should say, uh, this place actually had a roof to it, and it was pretty much a complete building, and, uh, you know, it was, of course, it was all abandoned, and nobody had been in it for a long, long time, and, uh, and there were a lot of, there was, you know, a lot of stuff in here, a lot of junk, and, uh, pretty much just, uh, well, not exactly a safe place to go hang out, because, uh, my brother used to go here quite often with his friends, and I said, yeah, it was pretty easy to get in, but not that easy to get out of. And, uh, and uh, I remember one night, I was hanging out with a, with a friend of mine, and uh, these kids came over to his house, and they wanted to stay at his place because his, uh, his stepson was friends with him. And he told him that his, uh, his stepson wasn't even home. I think he was gone for the weekend or something like that. So I used to go to I used to go to his place and use his computer. That's back when I was still living with my buddy uh, Mikey and his family, and we didn't really have a computer at the time. And um, so I'd use his computer to I don't know check out stupid stuff. And uh, and um, so these kids come by and they. Uh, and since they got rejected, they said, well, you know, they were going to go stay here at the old depot. And wouldn't you know it, sometime later, the place went ablaze. It caught on fire. And uh, the guy I was hanging out with uh, pretty much told the police the kids' names and said they were heading here and all this stuff. And, uh, as far as I know, I think they I think they got in some serious trouble for it. Um, the story was that apparently they uh, they brought some candles with them to see by, and I guess they left the candles lit up or something like that, or or near some uh, old newspaper or something like that. And anyway, uh, yeah, the place went up, and there was pretty much nothing left of it. Of course, they had to tear uh, most of this old building down. And uh, one memory I have of sitting here was uh, right in that spot right there. My buddy Jr. and I we were trying to get out of a uh, trying to get out of a really bad storm that was happening, and. Um, so we sat you know, right there in that area, and we're thinking, you know, like, yeah, we're safe. There's lightning flashing all around. There's, there's rain coming down. It's pretty bad, but we're okay. And down this way, we actually saw lightning hit a tree limb, and it's and it hit the ground pretty good. And uh, we just we kind of looked at each other, going, "Oh crap!" <laughs> so yeah, the old depot. Um, yeah, this place burned down many, many years ago. Uh, I want to say in the many years ago. But yeah, you know, I was coming back up here and I thought, why not get a video of the old depot and uh, record a little bit of it real quick for you guys. And uh, share a couple of stories. So, yeah. So there you guys go. Trip down memory lane once again. Uh, if you like my videos, feel free to subscribe, and um, hope you guys enjoyed this little story video, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, stay strong and rock on.